Hi guys, welcome back. Um, as usual, thanks to all the new subscribers. Um, I really do appreciate the new subscribers and all the subscribers in fact. So um, yeah, thanks for coming on board. Um, I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, lots of tips and tricks, etc, etc. Now, if you remember in the last video, um, we had welded in the front of the top hat section. Um, completely welded along and I didn't actually mention that at the time but um, the thickness of the of the top hat is is um, a little bit thicker than your normal body thickness so your normal body thickness is about 1 mil and the top hat is about 1.6 mil or maybe even 2 mil so uh, that's why we were able to kind of you know zip along on that um, so yeah also in the last video you will have remember that there was like a little corner piece to show you here down in this area so I've got a corner piece here and um, all that's to be done is basically we want to weld in if you remember we want to weld in the corners and we may as well do that now before we fit it yes we, we could fit we could fit it right and um, weld the corners afterwards but because it's out in our hand, now is the time to do it. It's easier, yeah, and we can clean it back, right? Um, we could do internal welds, which would be uh, down here. You know, if we fitted it now, we could put the weld into that corner. Welding into a corner is never really um, a good idea. It, 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 it can be done, no problem. But um, like I said before, if you can avoid you always think about the things beforehand, right? Um, and if you can avoid welding into a corner, um, it, it's probably better, right? In this instance, anyway, we have it in our hand and it's as well to weld it while it's out and then just polish it up, clean it up, um, etc. Um, dress it up and then fit it. Um, it's sealed then, you know, um, the thing about welding into a corner is you could possibly get maybe a tiny pinhole in the corner that didn't actually, you know, um, seal up in the weld, yeah? Um, so yeah, that's this piece. And like you've just seen in, in that um, slide that I just shown you there of, now we've got, um, we've actually got the top hat welded in, um, in full. So there's just uh, this piece, and the closing panel that goes on the outside and that's pretty much this job so we'll definitely get it closed in on this one i promise <laughs> okay guys so okay that's that piece now right and there's also um I've come across this little piece here. I've known about it. I've been looking after it from the get-go. So basically what this piece is, this was the old piece in there. So I'll just put that away a second. So we have that going on, right? You can see that? Now this is another reason why I say to you, you should keep your pieces, anything you cut out. It's, um, it's critical, you know, that you save your pieces. Because, you know, you can more certainly, it's okay to forget about putting that in, but then it's never going to look, it's never going to look original, yeah? And that's what we're going for here. We're going to keep everything as original as possible. So good so that we won't, you know, at the end of the day, it'll be almost impossible, you know, for any onlooker afterwards or looking at the, this project after it's finished is that, that we were even in here or we had anything done to it, you know. You could even say the bus was never welded or that's that's the level of... Um... So what we're going to do is we're going to measure up from the bottom inside here. We're going to measure up and find our centre and we're going to measure out from here and find our centre of the hole and then we're going to um, drill that hole out on this piece here. And it kind of matches up with this here. And um, to the best of my knowledge, right, 
um, this is for wax oil afterwards or putting in any kind of sealant you want you know to protect um, the inner rocker etc because that's exactly what's in that hole there yeah at the back here is the inner rocker so yeah it protects everything so we'll go on and we'll uh, transfer our measurements over to this guy and the top of this guy as well here what you see here will 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 look like what you see there let's put it in again so you can see and then i won't have to be talking about it again afterwards but like you'll see that there's a there's a line there yeah and that's the line we'll be following that's as it comes from the factory um like i said day one this whole panel coming down here would have kicked around here like this with this shape in it and the bulge panel comes down like it is now and kicks out here yeah this piece so that's that's the piece we welded on on the patch panel video if you check that one out that's the piece we added onto it onto this piece okay so this is all painted in a well true primer and we're just going to take a little bit of that off Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant my first tack out here on the edge um, and work back to the corner because the corner back here, yeah, is the stronger part. If I like I said before, if I just put my first tack out on the edge here, and then I'll build diamond all the way back to the corner. Okay, I. I'll just turn it around and we we'll do the same on here, yeah? Basically just to clean up the metal a bit is all we're doing here. And again, we stick the tack on the outside because it's stronger here at the back. Now you can see this is this is the back, yeah. Okay. So now we need to get rid of that. So we've got clean wire. That's essential for this kind of work because it's so small and so light, and you don't, you know, you need to register your first tack, and you need to do it that's it you just need to do the just do it you know just do the first hack uh, you don't want it to be uh, uh, you don't want resistance you know uh, and by the time it actually fires in there it's bound to hole you know okay 
eyes. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to do a little bit of bragging here now and I'm just going to show you exactly because, you know, I can talk until the cows come home and like I said, I will. But the, the thing I'm talking about is that first tack on the outside, yeah, and on really light metal. And if you if you can register that first tack um, efficiently, properly, and just lay it down there like that, then the rest of the thing is, you know, it, it can be a disaster for you. So I, I just keep saying this because this is where I'd like you to start. Any of you guys that are uh, wanting to, to weld properly, um, this is what I'm talking about. You know, I've just hacked that and I can put my finger on it, you know. And, you know, I'm, I'm still running, obviously. So that's the amount. It, it has to happen in a split second. That's the kind of stuff that we're dealing with, right? And when we get away from this and we get onto like, well, you know, it's going to be like one mil anyway. So let's just leave it at that for now. You know, uh, once once we can weld this kind of stuff, we can weld any kind of stuff. I'll just get you in closer to that tack and I'll, I'll brag yeah, a little and just show you what if I can get close enough to it and show you, you know, how nice that tack that is. And then you'll be able to see what it is and, and, and what's achievable with just what I've shown you. OK. So that's the tack guys, yeah? That's what it looks like. On that corner. And there we have it guys, that's what it looks like. Welded corner. The outside corner. Okay, just clean it up, paint it, and fit it. There you have your corner. Just get a little paint dry. Ha <laughs> ha. My boy. And my very special boy. He's just remembered now as he's passed, yeah? Right, we'll have a cup of tea and we'll let the paint dry. Hey guys. While I'm having my cup of tea, why don't you uh, jump down, hit the subscribe, and a like if you want yeah and join us on this only if you're enjoying it it's 14 mil from the inside and now from the bottom
inside to the center. Forty eight. Okay, so forty eight from there to the center and fourteen from there to the center. So forty eight. And this is the top that needs trimming. So the bottom is already trimmed and the sides. This there's a lot of, there's quite a little bit this gets chamfered off across like this. That's how it's finished. From day one in the factory. Describe there. It's easy enough to scribe it because it's painted. And now we need 14 mil. From the inside again. Hope you can see that. The scribe line. And now we want this one. And that gives us our mark. Pilot hole. And now we need the dimension of the hole. That's 14 as well. 14.5. Okay. So that's what's got to fit in here, yeah, this little guy. And then this piece goes into it, yeah, flush. So let's just get the, get the dimensions again of this. We haven't really had the dimensions so far, but okay, so. So it's 14.12, you can see that. Fourteen, right? Mm. Yeah. Looks like that will do, alright guys. That's kind of tight, but that's how we like it, yeah? So I haven't pushed it all the way through because uh, we're going to be taking it out because we need to weld all this and paint it, etc. But yeah, again, I can't reiterate, guys, how important it is to keep all your scrap bits, okay? keep all the bits that you cut off or they come off because you may need them down the road and this is evidence of it now you know that's exactly what we're talking about now most restorations on these buses this area will have been rotted out and there you go you don't even know that such a thing exists or should be there 
but for the eagle eye and for the for the trained eye the guy who loves his buses or whatever or cars you know beetles or whatever you'll know all these little things yeah we're called the anoraks so just another little important piece for you to know about some of you guys the younger generation i suppose you know it's handy to have this documented because it's up there now on the tubies forever and yeah unless you go to a museum or you know sometimes these 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 things are lost and uh anyway we get it stuck on now and we'll see how we get on Bastard five. No, that's the name of it. That's the name of the file. I don't know if you can see or not, but that's flat. And that's round. Yeah. That's what it is. Beautiful. Yeah. And this plugs in and tightens the whole thing up. Yeah, completely tightens it. Um, I'm sure you'll have come across fasteners like this. Yeah, so once that goes all the ways in, that's gonna be um, really tight. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It's going to get plug welded there, okay, and trimmed, and seam welded all the way around, and across the top. We've got to trim the top, okay, so you're up to date now again. That's very nice, and the hole lines up here, with what's behind it, yeah? August 1967, which is the end of the splitties. So the beginning of the bay, so it's August 67 to May 1979, and it's offside, which is for right and drive, it means um, the curb side is, is the passenger side and the steering wheel is on the right hand side for anyone who doesn't understand that offside, because yeah, not a lot of people um, understand what offside is, but offside is away from the footpath. So that's the right hand side here in bracket, right. So it's like the right hand side. This is the right hand side of the bus, guys, and if... As a repair panel, you see, you have nothing here. You've, you're losing all of this. Um, and this is your bulge here. Yeah? Seam weld, seam weld, seam weld. Seam weld means just all the way along. Seam weld. So that's how I'm going to get seam welded. Plug welded. These are already um, spot welded. Yeah? So plug weld, all of these. And we're just going to put dimes on there, spot welds, and then close it all in and then clean it all back.